Hey guys, uh, it's Big Man. So today we're going to be looking at how to use gearboxes and clutches. So let's go. So I've just built up a little example test bed here. Um, I've got two large engines, each with the exact same amount of fuel set up, everything. The only difference, obviously, is the colours and the gearbox ratio. So, well, not the gearbox ratios, but the gearbox configurations. So. I'm just going to quickly go and start these engines and we can see both of them are running consistently at 20 RPS there we go so these engines are running the same but what I'm going to be talking to you about today is gearboxes and clutches and how they work so you can see that these engines are both running, both running easily but they're not putting anything out to that small propeller small propellers that's because we have a clutch. So if we have this, this clutch here, we'll take a uh, 0 to 1 value. So I've just hooked up the throttle lever to that. And if we engage the clutch to full, we can see that this propeller is spinning at 20 RPS, which is the same as the engine. So we'll just disengage the clutch. The same on the other side, it will work as well. The two things we need to look at are gearboxes. So you know how clutches work. Clutches, when at a zero value, will have no power pass through between them. So if you have power coming in this way and you want power to go out that way, if this is at zero, no power will go through there. If it's at 1, all the power will go through there. Now it's not a uh, linear thing, so if I set it to half, it's not going to go at 10 RPS, it's going to go to 20 because there's no load. Clutches are an interesting thing, the, you, have, you have to practice a bit with them. But the next thing that we're going to look at is gearboxes. So, currently on this engine we have two gearboxes both in an RPS configuration so this gearbox you can tell if the gearbox is an RPS or torque configuration by the way that the arrows are facing if the arrows are facing towards the power output so in this case the power output is the engine if they're facing towards it then you have RPS gearbox, which will multiply the RPS and divide the torque. So this gearbox here, this is set at a 2 to 1 ratio. Um, it's set at a default 1 to 1, default 1 to 1, same with the other two. But the second gear or is a 2 to 1 ratio for the RPS. This is a 3 to 1 ratio for the RPS. Same with this one here, but this is for torque. So this is a 2 to 1 ratio for torque and a 3 to 1 ratio for torque. So, I am going to engage the clutches on both of these engines. Actually, I'll do it on just this one for the noise. But we can see we've got 20 RPS, 20 RPS, 20 RPS, 113, 116, 120 torque. You will gradually lose a bit of torque with gearboxes. Toggle one, we can see engine is running at 20 RPS. We've got 140 torque. After this gearbox is engaged, we have 40 RPS, and, oh, sorry, <laughs> uh, security software, after this one we have 40 RPS, and 68 torque, okay, so 20 RPS, 120 torque coming directly from the engine, we gauge, 2 to 1, still 20 RPS at the engine, 140 torque, 40 RPS and 68 torque at this torque meter here coming out of the gearbox. If we then engage it again, unfortunately the engines are struggling a little bit, but that is doubled, that is doubled that, and we're sitting 103 RPS. I'm just going to disengage those, but you would have seen that from that 
we don't actually have a lot of torque. So we've got a lot of torque here, we don't have a lot of torque here. Now, let's go over to the torque. So, we have 20 RPS, 102 torque, 97 torque, 20 RPS, 20 RPS, 93 torque. There's your clutch. Let's turn on a 2 to 1 ratio gearbox for torque. Still sitting at 20 RPS because it's RPS is the thing that's hard for engines to get to. They can easily ease up to 20 RPS if that's their max when there is less load at the end. But you see, we've got a 20 RPS, 110 torque, 10 RPS at this point here, but we've got 212 torque. We engage this gearbox. We're only sitting at 3 RPS. 20, 10, about three and a half, four. But, you know, that's a lot of torque. Now I'm just going to disengage the clutches. You can see that, you know, you get a lot of torque and you'll actually get a slight torque gain if you have a clutch engaged. Believe it or not. With the clutch engaged, 570, 550. It's just a fact of storms. Okay, so I'm going to kill those engines. But as you can see, these are, yeah, that is how you get clutches and gearboxes to work. We return this to the workbench, um, and you want to know how to use these it's quite simple so let's just start a new vehicle build out a little platform when it comes to an engine let's I'm not going to pipe up this engine or get it to start but let's just say we want an engine here and we'll make a pipe from this orange here and we want a gearbox we want to multiply the torque, what we'll do, and I'll just put in some building blocks. We want to multiply the torque, have the arrows facing away from the engine. We do this and go into select mode, click on our gearbox. We'll see we have ratio one and ratio two. Now, there are quite a few ratios that you can use. So, and you can change the first ratio as well. But you have a 65, obviously a 1 to 1, 65, 3 to 2, 9 to 5, 2 to 1, 5 to 2, and a 3 to 1. Just because you could use this on RPS and gearbox and torque gearboxes, does not mean it's the best thing to use. There is also a 1 to minus 1. Now, if you guess that that's a reverse gear, you are correct. A reverse gear is. Yeah, it's a reverse gear. But the thing is, with a reverse gear, that it works either way. If you wanted to set a reverse gear to that one and a reverse gear to that one, yes, that's an RPS gearbox and that's a torque gearbox, but they will do the same thing. It doesn't matter. They're actually just multiplying the RPS by minus one. Um, I think if you want... If you wanted a preference, I would say go with the torque gearbox. It's from experience, I think that works slightly better. But, uh, and then clutches, well you know how clutches work. Clutches just cut off power and let power through. Well, uh, anyway guys, I um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.